Okay, so if you clicked on this video, that means you're probably in a similar situation to me, being that you run two PCs or computers, super cool, you have one for editing or streaming or something like that, and then maybe one solely dedicated to gaming. That's awesome. But then you realize that you have to have a mouse and keyboard set for both of them. Bruh. So that takes up a lot of desk space and seems pretty unnecessary, right? You would think that there's a solution out there for this. So you only have to use one mouse and one keyboard for two PCs. Well, I'm here to tell you there is, and it will only cost you about 20 bucks and about five minutes of your time to set up. So stick around until after this little sponsor spot and I'll show you how to make this work. VIP URCD key has you covered with fully licensed codes to activate your favorite games and software. Purchasing your key is super easy. All you have to do is click on the item that you want, click buy to add it to your cart. Once in your cart, you can now enter my promo code RAV20. After adding the promo code, you'll see your savings pop up and you can then purchase your product with your chosen payment method. Finding and entering your Windows 10 CD key is super easy. All you have to do is go over to your user profile, find your purchase and click view keys and codes to reveal your new CD key. Then all you have to do is go to settings in Windows, click on update and security, click on activation, and finally click on change product key and paste your new key into the window and click next. You'll now have a fully licensed version of Windows 10 with no watermark. Check the links in the description to start saving now. All right, to be able to run a single keyboard and mouse set with two computers, you're gonna need something called a USB switch. The one I'll be using today is from a company called Ugreen, and it was only 20 bucks on Amazon, which I'll link below for you guys. It comes with two five foot USB 2.0 male to male cables to connect from each of your computers back to the switch box. And of course, it comes with the switch box itself. The box has two inputs on the back for your two computers, like I just mentioned, and four USB outputs on the front for whatever USB device you may want to share between your two computers. At this point, you may be wondering, why aren't you using a USB switch box that uses USB 3.0? Don't you want faster speeds for everything? Well, to clear this up for you guys, for simple USB devices such as keyboards, mice, printers, scanners, whatever, USB 2.0 has more than enough bandwidth to support those devices. I'll prove it to you later in the video. The only reason you may want to step up to the USB 3.0 version of this switch box is if you plan on also using it to share data between your two computers with an external hard drive or USB stick. USB 3.0 will give you faster transfer speeds, so if that is something you're planning on doing, the USB 3.0 version of this switch box is for you, and I will also link that down below for you. Okay, let's get this thing set up. And before I start, don't forget to like the video if this is something that you're finding helpful, and consider subscribing to my channel with those notifications on so you can see more tech content like this in the future. Starting with the two included male-to-male -male USB cables, you just need to plug one end of each cable into each of your computers that you want to share your USB device too. Then plug the other ends into the back of the box that has the two inputs. Make note that one is labeled number one and the other one is labeled number two. That is the number that the box will recognize your computer as when you switch between them. You should notice that one of the numbers on the top of the box lights up with a blue LED once you plug in your computers and the box powers on. In my case, both of my computers recognize the switch box right away, so there was no need to install any drivers or anything. The box also has a port on it for additional power, but you only need to use it if you plug in a device that needs more power to run. If you're just using a mouse and keyboard like I am in this video, then you don't even need to worry about it. Next, you simply plug in your devices that you want to share between your two computers into one of the four USB outputs on front of the switch box, and that's it. All right guys, real quick, I did wanna show you guys how simple and easy this thing is to use. So I have the box right here on the corner of my desk, the button's right here, and I can clearly see the LEDs Everything is working great. So right now I am on PC number one, which for my setup is my streaming PC and editing PC. So right now, I don't know if you guys, you guys can probably see it. The mouse is moving around. Look, there we go, I'll bring something up. It's working. Uh, there's, a, there's a window right there. Everything's working great. So now if I wanna switch over to my uh, gaming PC over here, PC number two, right there. Uh, all I gotta do right now is uh, press the button and it will switch over to it. So right now, just to prove this to you guys, I will go ahead and switch over to uh, the my input with that PC. So right now, it's turned off. It's it's asleep. You can't. It's nothing's coming up. Let me go ahead and press the button. And now it's switched over to that PC, and you can see already it's waking up. 
and now I am on my gaming PC. So there we go. Completely different PC with all my games on it. Uh, Tarkov is right there. And it does it seamlessly, you guys. It even wakes your PC up from sleep, uh, and it, it works really, really well. So for 20 bucks, this thing's pretty awesome. So honestly, that's all there really is to this thing. Like I said, it's an extremely simple and cheap fix to a very annoying issue when it comes to running multiple computers and sets of keyboards and mice. So for how cheap this thing is, the switch box works very well and it seamlessly switches between my two computers without any issues at all. I haven't noticed any stuttering, input lag, or any wonky things going on when I use the switch button. So I have to give this uh, little piece of tech a huge thumbs up and I would highly recommend it to anyone out there that has a similar setup to mine. Anyway, that's really gonna be it for this one, you guys. I wanted to keep it short and sweet for you, so I hope this helped you guys out, and if it did, let me know down in the comments below, and I will catch you guys next time.